Hey guys, today I came in a onesie because it's my favorite because it's a unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in little piggy tails and I put glitter on my eyes because my new name of my channel is Sparkle with Angie, which is going to be about beauty and like random things like maybe some comedy along the way. Um, also advice, also just stories about life. If you guys want to stick around and see what I'm talking about, and I'm going to make gonna make this a series. Every time I have my onesie on, we're going to be doing girl talk. So get cozy and grab a chair and some water and some tea or some wine and if you're of age. And just get comfy and let's just talk. So let's talk about insecurities that other people try to put upon somebody else just because they're so much more insecure than the other person. I mean, you are as a person have insecurities but you try to overcome them right like you try to be positive you should try to be more positive than negative you should think of the glass half full instead of half empty um a lot of girls try to put their insecurities onto other girls there's an example where one girl can be like oh my god she is so fat did you see her or she is too skinny can you see do you see her bones like, no, that girl that is making that complaint about her is just basically saying, those are the things that are wrong with me. I'm so insecure about myself that I need to make fun of somebody else or talk shit. No, no, we don't need that. So if somebody in your life is doing that to you, just say, you know what, it was nice knowing you, but I think we need to part ways. The second part about being insecure is that everybody and their mama is insecure. Yet, you don't have to put other people down just because you don't feel comfortable with yourself. I mean, I am not the most attractive person, but I still think that I'm beautiful in my own ways. I'm not the skinniest person in the world, but I don't really care. I'm comfortable in the body I am. I'm in. I I mean, I do want to work out. I do want to eat healthier, but I'm not going to be like, "Oh my god, I need to go hide under a rock because that person thinks I'm ugly and fat." No. If that person thinks I'm ugly or fat, good for them. They probably need Jesus in their life. They're miserable, so they want to start talking shit about somebody else. And that's basically all it is. Insecurities are something that that person can't deal with, so he, they try to throw it onto someone else. I wanted to talk to you guys about just being overweight. Used to take it to heart, like what people would tell me. People have called me a huge quarterback because I'm bigger than my sisters. I'm bigger than most people. Um, they used to call me a monkey because I had super hairy arms, like super hairy arms. I went to my sister's um, fi sweet 15, quinceanera, um, with a hoodie on over my big ball gown sweater because I had such hairy arms. I was so insecure about them. I hated them, but I shave my arms now um, just because it's my choice to do it. Um, I've been bullied about my weight my whole life. I used to be called, they call me fat ass, they call me chubby. I've been overweight my whole life. Uh, I know I could do something about it. It's obviously my fault that I'm the way I am, but I feel like I'm not insecure with the body I have. I'm pretty happy with the body I have. I could make it better. But I haven't done anything to do that um, uh, recently. So when people call other people fat or you call somebody skinny. Oh, I'm going to. My voice is cracking. I'm not crying. I just really need a drink. <laughs> um, but when you're making fun of somebody's weight, it's really not a subject to touch on with somebody that's either too skinny or too fat. Like. That person, you don't know what they're going through. You shouldn't be judging what they're doing, how they look. Because you are no better. You are not perfect. You are not the creator of all beings. You are just another human that was made the way you are. And when people are constantly putting other people down, it just enrages me. Because I feel like when you put somebody else down, again, it has to do with your insecurity. So... If somebody ever calls me fat, which I am, I don't care, um, I don't, 
I do sometimes get offended depending on who it's from. If it's from my sister, I really don't care because we call each other fat all the time. But if it's from someone that doesn't know me, they don't know what I've been through, what all the, all, I don't know, just they don't know me. And they're just like, ew, look at that fat bitch. Like, no, like you don't know me. You don't know what I've been going through. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows what you're going through, so when somebody judges you upon your appearance, it's tell them to leave you the hell alone. Like, who are you? Bye. Say, tell them bye. Be gone. I don't care about you. Um, there's just people with insecurities making fun of other people, you know? Let's say you're insecure about your feet. You're like, ew, look at that girl's feet. They're so ugly. You're basically saying your feet are ugly and you would rather have that girl's feet. Am I making a point? Or, ew, that girl's ass is way too big. You're probably like, oh my god, I wish I had that ass. So when somebody, when someone's trying to insult you and say, like, something negative, take it to positive. Be like, oh, that bitch said I'm fat. She probably don't got no meat on her. So she probably, you know, don't be looking as good as me. If you guys liked the video, please remember to thumbs it up, subscribe. And if you heard a moan, it's my sister. Uh, but yeah, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next future video of my unicorn series. Bye.